Okay, this is just a quick video on how to use Source Connect's uh, Remote Transport Sync, RTS, in Logic Pro. So with RTS, you can synchronize two remote studio DAWs. And one could be running Pro Tools, one can be running Logic, or vice versa, works fine. Now, to do it in Logic, what you need to do is when Source Connect is installed, on your system, it automatically installs the necessary rewire and source connect rewire files. Now in Logic, what you need to do is you need to create a new um, external MIDI track. So come up to track, track menu, new external MIDI track. There's that new MIDI track. Now we need to open the library and come down to where it says SE, source elements rewire. Click there and come across to SE bus. And that's all you need to do. So we can close the library. And this uh, MIDI track here, we don't need to touch it again. So I tend to hide it away. So I'm just gonna hide that track because we don't need to deal with that again. And we can save this obviously as a template to make it easier next time. Okay, so now we've got our MIDI rewire track sorted. Um, there are a few other things to remember. Um, both studios, um, both DAWs need to be working with the same video file and at the same sample rate. And here we're working at 48K. And have the same session start times or movie start times in Logic. And to change that in Logic, you can just right click on the movie, come down to movie project settings, and then you can change the start time here. And it's worth remembering that on this video here, we're working at 25 frames per second. Also to turn off uh, record pre-roll and not to, be ha not to have any tempo maps in Logic. And importantly in Logic, to make sure that the end of project marker, which is this thing at the right here, doesn't foul over the end of the movie. So keep that well out of the way, otherwise it won't work. So you've got that all sorted. You can come across to the Source Connect pane. And at the bottom, you'll see it says Remote Transport Sync. So we can open that up. And I'm going to connect to this 48K test line here. And then the options for RTS um, come alive. And you need to decide whether you're in Send or Receive mode. So if you're in Send mode, then you control the session. If you're in receive mode, then you your machine is remotely controlled by the other studio. So here I'm in um, send mode. And if I press the play button here, then it will try and lock up to the other remote studio. And this is just saying that they haven't gone into receive mode because I'm just on a test line. So now you can see when I start logic, the time code in logic is matched down to the time code here and will be in sync with the other studio so they'll they'll be seeing and hearing exactly the same as what I'm seeing here so that's just a quick look at how to use remote transport sync RTS in Logic Pro